Hi guys, so the look I'm going to be doing for you today is a very peachy, coppery eye that's going to make any blue and green eyes stand out for miles. Um, obviously, if you haven't got blue or green eyes, this look is still going to look beautiful. So, if you want to learn how to get this look, then just keep watching. So, the foundation I'm using is the Wake Me Up Foundation by Rimmel. And I'm just buffing that into the skin. Next, I'm going to be using the Lasting Perfection Concealer from Collection 2000. I'm just applying that underneath my eyes, around the corners of my nose and on any blemishes that I've got. Then I'm just going to blend that in with my ring finger, taking extra care around the eye area. Next I'm just setting that with an MUA powder in the shade 1. This powder is gorgeous, it gives such a velvety effect after applying it onto liquid foundation. Very nice indeed. So I've already gone ahead and filled in my brows and if you'd like to see how I do that, I've got a separate video so I'll pop a link somewhere around here and you can go and click that and check that out if you want to see how I do my brows. Then I'm just going to be using the Sweet Cheeks bronzer on an angled brush and this is by NYC. I'm going to be popping that in the hollows of my cheeks just to add some definition. I'm going to be putting a little bit of that on my temples and hairline and also underneath my jawline. Next up I'm going to be using a blusher mineral. A blusher mineral. Next up I'm going to be using a mineral blush by Essential Therapy London and it is in the shade Silky Cheeks. I'm just going to be popping this on the back of my cheeks. This is definitely one of my all time favourite blushes. It's just such a gorgeous colour. Then for highlighter I'm going to be using my MUA highlighter in Undress Your Skin and I'm placing that just on the tops of the cheekbones and then just blending it into the blusher. So moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be using two models own pigments and the first one is in Peachy Keen and I'm just going to be applying this all over my lid. This colour is amazing and if you've got blue eyes it's really going to make them stand out. Next I'm also going to run a bit of that underneath the eye. <laughs> Without poking yourself in the eye. <laughs> So the next pigment I'm going to be using is called Mocha Chocolate Latte and this is just a lovely rich chocolate brown colour. I'm going to be placing this in the outer V. and then just blending that out with a fluffy brush. Then just adding a little bit more into the outer V again, just to create a bit more depth. And then just blending that out as well. Then using Shy from my Undress Me Too palette, I'm going to be using that as a brow highlight. Then using a big fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend the highlight into the eyeshadow. Next, 
I'm just lining my top lash line with the L'Oreal Paris Super Liner. And then we're just going to create a very small wing in the outer corner. So after my liner I'm going to be using a black pencil liner from Rimmel London in Black Magic and I'm going to just line my tide line very carefully and this is just going to fill in any little gaps that the liquid liner may have missed between the lash line. I'm also going to line my water line and then very lightly just bringing it down onto the lash line as well and then just taking a pencil brush I'm just going to smudge that out then for mascara I'm going to be using Avon Super Shock in black and I'm just applying that generously to my top and bottom lashes I don't know what to make of this mascara actually. Um, some days I really like it and then others it doesn't seem to do much. Um, today, not so much. <laughs> oh dear. So with that eyes done, I'm next going to move on to lips and I'm going to just line my lips with the NY Lip Liner in 954 and I'm just ever so slightly going to um, overline my lips. So after lining my lips I'm then going to be using the Extreme Lip Plumping Treatment by Too Faced, um, also known as the Lip Injection, and I'm just going to be applying this to my lips. And this is, like it says, very extreme. I'd just be quite careful if you're very sensitive skinned. So this is the completed look, I hope you really enjoyed this video, if you have please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next video, thanks guys, bye bye.